There's been one trade today in the tick count trend. Hit the $200 profit target, the limit orders, uh, the prices on the on the entry and the exit so far of the day. Uh, well, the, the exit's at 89 and the high at this point was uh, 1389. It, since then, it's we've recently ticked higher. Uh, but the low, 1385, did not tick below 1385, although it hit it a lot. And so um, it was tough to get these fills um, without canceling and replacing at the market. Uh, you see that this this hasn't traded much lately. We've been kind of in a choppy range, um, and so what this does, the way this works, is that when when you see um, this indicator at the bottom, uh, the the white line indicates neutral ticks. The red line reds uh, indicate bearish ticks, and the blues indicate bullish ticks leading the way. And so lately we've had neutral ticks leading the way, and not many trades actually since last friday so monday uh choppy tuesday down to choppy wednesday choppy even yesterday was was down the market was down overall it gapped down but the neutral ticks still led the way and so if you're bullish this market a lot of people are bullish and you try to buy pullbacks it's difficult it's sometimes gonna be difficult because you're, you're, you're buying these pullbacks buying these pullbacks but it keeps going down and then you get a big gap up so um if you're day trading this um, and you're buying on the dips, you're not getting much much rally, although our stochastic divergence strategy yesterday did well uh, get, getting a small move off the low uh, with the divergence. But um, uh, what you see here is one trade, um, profitable so far today, hit its $200 profit target, and the bullish ticks are leading the way, big gap up on the jobs numbers, and we have a, a, a fight, kind of a fight in the market um, between this 1380 level and I want to show you a um, chart for this. Uh, let's look at a longer term picture of the E-mini S&P, even a daily chart of this E-mini S&P. And you'll see what I'm talking about. A lot of choppiness in here, very cyclical pattern. And you, you tend to get this, uh, let me pull out the pin here. Uh, let me you get these uh, rallies and then pullbacks, rallies and then pullbacks, rallies and then pullbacks, rallies and then pullbacks. And so you make a new high by a little bit by this amount and then you pull back this amount. Then you make a new high by a small amount here and then you pull back. And so you, it's like you take one step forward and then 10 steps back in the market and one step forward and then 10 steps back. But this pattern is becoming so redundant um, that once a pattern becomes overly recognizable in the market, it tends to discontinue and anticipate a huge move uh, upward on in this market. I don't anticipate it to pull back again. It could be wrong, uh, but um, from a long-term perspective, um, I anticipate uh, this pattern to break. And then for this, for uh, the amount of pullbacks that we've had on the downside, I anticipate us to start having uh, some surges on the upside in this market. And so that's just my overall long-term analysis which does not affect the trading systems it's just a general interest of analysis what you see in these other charts here are different setups for tick count trend we recently did a webinar uh, for tick count trend and uh, the link for that webinar is below this video it's advanced tick count trend strategies and we use this spreadsheet uh, looking at different tick metrics metrics you see um, also um, the tick symbol at the bottom of all these and again I'm gonna pull the pin out here you see the tick here and in this chart it's tick C and in this chart it's TIKI that's the Dow this is the composite um, NYS com NYSE composite uh, I believe it's NASDAQ Russell um, S&P and so you get different results for each of those and I've got a spreadsheet here for this You see this spreadsheet you can also download it below this link and so You'll be able to get this spreadsheet and see the webinar if you haven't haven't studied this yet uh, and understanding the ticks. Uh, but this is um, look at the recent performance summary on this. This is inclusive of $25 round turn slippage and commission over the last three years. And so um, you see recent equity peaks. And then this is not inclusive of slippage and commission, uh, but it includes the NYSE composite instead of the NYSE. NYSE, um, all the stocks in NYSE, tick is all these stocks in the NYSE, 
and then the TIXI is the ones that are only in the New York Stock Exchange composite and so not all the stocks in the NYC are in the New York Stock Exchange composite so you can get different results here is the Dow um, recent equity peaks here here um, here is the Russell not or Nasdaq not as many equity peaks the Russell shows equity peaks and then you get um, the tick SP the S&P's and it's kind of sideways here and so there's different ways to set this up you see how the indicator works differently uh, yesterday say for example on the um, tick Nasdaq the reds led the way in the and so um, the way we have the default settings in the spreadsheet and so you got a short trade here a nice short trade and so the, one of the ways to think think about how this system works is let me let me pull out the pin here is 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 the trend is your friend but we define the trend with the tick and what you're doing is you're you're buying this market uh, most people want to buy the market as it goes down and act like it's going to go up and you try to pick that or average down and it's 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 difficult to do and it can require a lot of capital to do that successfully um, and you have to have tight risk parameters in if you're if you're wrong but the way this the better a better way to trade a more profitable way to trade is to um, wait for the market to go up and you just kind of you just kind of hit these you're, you're you're catching these moves right here is what you're trying to catch these small moves and then when the market goes down you catch these small moves downside down here you might you might miss this um, but in the process of missing that you missed you might have been trying to buy the dips as it went down not to miss the move up and then by the time this kicks in and it has a run up you're not even back to break even yet or back or back barely back to break even while as if you just waited for the trend to be strong and then buy the the small dips near the highs or waited for the market to be weak and short the small dips near the lows I mean this is not perfect it can get the market can reverse on the longs or reverse on the shorts and you can get stopped out um, and we see that here but a visual way to explain this is to take a look see the market rallied and we and we got a, a small profit today on tick count trend um, and then last Friday same thing gap up it, it, it rallies we get the profit target we miss this surge we get a pullback and then kind of a scratch trade at the end of the day and so you see this here's a short here's a short trade example it sells off you know you're not you're not trying to call the top um, on a move of course the market sold off and so um, the trend is already down the previous day sort of um, from the big gap down and so you get another sell off and then a rally short and then I mean you, you, the market did reverse and that was a loser but that's the example of how it works is you're pegging you're pegging the highs you're buying the highs buying pullbacks in the highs um, when it's up and you're shorting um, when it's down and so short trades have not been easy and then the market reverses sometimes and so that that's just kind of how this system works and it's it's a better way to trade than to try to pick tops and bottoms and you, you read a lot of conventional wisdom about picking tops and bottoms but um, so that's 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 a update on tick count trend and how it's explained I didn't mean to make this a mini webinar but I wanted to explain that concept to you uh, which is so counterintuitive and hard for hard for most traders to follow and how this system uh, exploits that pattern.